This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Cleaning. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> For oh, many once you start. Oh, once seriously. You, start. you know, like, uh, and and deep cleans too because most of us just vacuum around things. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. Just yeah. wipe around things. But sometimes, you know, it's a good idea to pull the furniture away. It's a terrible idea, Nathan. I don't want to know what's under there. I know. It's a good idea. It's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Um, once I was, like, cleaning my uh, apartment, it was only to move out. That's the only time I ever moved the couch because yeah. I was moving out. It was yep. when I was living um, in Mount Lawley. So I moved the couch and then I found um, some socks that I've been looking for, like a couple of pairs. I'm like, oh, my God, you know, that's that other sock because you never know where the other socks no, go No, that's to. right. Um, and there wasn't a big gap underneath my couch too, so it's like that was a real struggle for it to get in there. So then when I went to um, grab the sock, I went, oh, great, and I picked it up and like a thousand little black spiders came out oh, of that sock. Oh, I remember you saying that one. Spider yeah. sock. Yeah. What were they? What were they doing in the sock? What were they feeding us? <laughs> That's the next question. Baby so spider disgusting. nursery. Well, this is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. This is so disgusting. So this guy, he was cleaning up uh, his bedroom, him and his partner's mm, bedroom, mm. and he uh, moved the bed to go and clean it. You know, do a proper clean, and then he shared a photo of what he found, and it was <laughs> disgusting. His girlfriend. Wears contact lenses, and then each time when they're in bed, she would take her contact lenses out and she'd throw them Just behind them the headboard. behind the headboard. So there was we're talking like nearly like I thought taking I've never hundreds. worn contact lenses, but I assumed it was something you did in the bathroom was take Same the contact here. lenses out, so, yeah, so. take them out, and then just and obviously they're the disposable ones. You just throw them in the bin there. But doing that in bed seems pushed a weird up thing against the skirting board was like a hundred used contact lenses. Just women can be gross, hey. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about, 13, 24, 10. <laughs> Tell us about the gross woman in your life. <laughs> Come on, revenge, Ellie. Face. Yeah. Ellie's horrified. Ellie, if we opened the phones for that, they would melt down. We would never take another call on anything else. Is that right, Sean? 120%. All right. I've seen that could somebody be the move worst their couch ever. and they found their dog was hiding the dentist stick, so they would give them the dentist stick <laughs> and the dog and not realise that the dog wasn't Rudy. eating them. They were just... Positing them behind uh, the couch, so a them. whole pile of dentist like sticks behind the couch. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they move the couch, and there's this like you know, forty dentist sticks there. Oh. <laughs> there, there was an article, I think, over the weekend where um, some people were moved out of their house. And they were moving all their stuff. They found a whole skeleton of what was. I think a, a, a pet dog that from previous people. Whole skeleton. Oh, from previous people. Wow. Yeah. Because like, if you think your dog went missing, you'd think you'd look. Yeah, I'd have thought And so. the smell of a rotting dog. Well, in some so, places, just... though. In some places. <laughs> mm. nah. Ruby's just Ruby. joined us. Ruby. Ruby tried to run out of the studio yeah, so she didn't after... have to tell this story. <laughs> after Sean's comment, I was like, I'm out. So Ruby's got this friend called Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about Trudy. No, so I was a moving house about a month Trudy ago. Trudy was moving house, yes. <laughs> yeah, Trudy, not Ruby. And my brother was actually helping me move and we were moving my bed and when we moved the bed there were like condom wrappers on the floor. <laughs> How many, Ruby? Really? It was just embarrassing I was with my brother first of all. More there than... were 537 <laughs> of them. How many? What are we talking about? Oh, not a like a few guys. A few like, what? No, no, no. What? How I, many? I lived there for four years. Like, like, yeah. Okay, so what? I say four. <laughs> also, I didn't put them there, okay? Yeah. Can we all just, yeah, that wouldn't have been me. Rooms, what, did you, what do you say with your brothers helping you with that? Oh. What's, a, what's a comment? Oh, oh, he's just, oh, oh at least safety you've been safe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a safety girl. <laughs> So uh, there was a woman who... Sean, everything all right? What's wrong with that? I just sneezed. Was that a sneeze? sneeze? Yeah, yeah. I was 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 trying to muffle it. It sounds like you were screaming. (laughs) That's my nose. So uh, when they moved the bed anyway, they found a whole lot of contact lenses behind the bed head because the woman in the relationship would just take them out of her eyes at night and fling them over the bed head. Yeah, it's so (laughs) disgusting. So we're talking about when you're moving furniture and stuff around, um, what you found behind it. Tamara, hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, Hi Tamara. Tamara. What happened? Um, my partner was in the process of moving into my house. Um, so we put some furniture in the car and when we went to the op shop to move some stuff in, I moved a bag and I found a massive rat running around in the car. Oh, in, in, the, the, car. in the car? In the car. So she had rats in the house and apparently they wanted to move as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's it made great. it worse because... She decided to put some water and food in the car yeah. so the rats didn't die. Oh, wait, oh, sorry. So, what, then, so the rats then just lived there forever? <laughs> no, well, I dropped her at work that night and then um, when I went to pick her up, I ended up hearing a lot more squeaks and turns out there was a whole rat family in the car. No <laughs> oh, idea what happened. And she had catered oh, for them. Yes. 
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, Tam, so she clearly was okay with rats, but how yes. are you? Because that wouldn't... I, I wouldn't go well with them at all, being in the car, let alone anywhere well, else. Especially surprise rats. Yes. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, when I drove in the car that night, I refused to stay still. I kept moving my feet the whole time, and I haven't gotten in since because I don't want don't want the ball over me. Well, think about it. You're driving... A, like The calmest driver, the yes. most experienced driver, driving down the freeway, and then a rat yes. runs up there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's going to kill thousands of people. That's not like, great. Imagine the pile-up. Oh. Oh, stay safe tomorrow. Oh, good luck, Tam. Yep, exactly. Shane, hello. Hi, how are you going? Hey, good, Shane. Shane. Okay, what happened? What did you find when you moved the furniture? I was moving around the, well, me and my partner were moving the bed uh, bedroom around and um, I collect Pokemon cards. I'm a big collector. I've got a big, massive display case with a whole heap of stuff in there. Yeah. And um, I was opening up these cards and one must have fallen behind the bed head. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a original pack from... The old, the old versions, and yeah. Uh, yeah, opened the pack. wasn't expecting to um, get anything, you know. You never do. Yeah. And um, I pulled a limited edition uh, Shadowless Charizard card, and I no. sold it for thirty thousand dollars. Oh, Shano, <laughs> get out! Thirty k. Oh, How exciting! The oh. worst part about it is I sold it too late because if you go back another five years, I would have probably sold it for about two hundred and fifty thousand. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can be part of our group. I mean, <laughs> that always happens. Yeah, to that's us. It. It's that's a we bonus. always just miss the money. The thirty k is a bonus, but two hundred and fifty would have been better. Oh, the, worst, the worst part is I spend another thirty thousand dollars on Pokemon cards. So, oh, okay, you reinvested. Shane. Shane, do you have anything in your collection at the moment that is is as valuable as that card that you found? Uh, nothing as valuable as that card, but as a whole, um, probably about a hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, Pokemon cards. Wow! If I was to sell it as a whole. Are so you insane? You have to have them insured, obviously, Shane. Yeah, it's insured under the house. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, they they fluctuate in price, time, but so. Yep. Maybe a couple of years' time, they might be worth a bit more. Okay, Shane, <laughs> Who knows? a question about insuring something like that. Did the insurance company come around just to check out it's that real? It's real. Yeah. Well, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Because anyone can say, like, I've got a box of minks. I've oh, got yeah, this, you, you know? have to document so, every single one of them. So, so what's the deal with that? They don't They don't actually come around and have a look. You've just you've got to kind of do it for yourself. So I did a walk around in my house uh, on my phone to show that I have everything. So yeah. if they do ask the question, because um, I insure it for a certain value, so yeah. it's you know it's insured for let's say a hundred thousand. So um, yeah, once they uh, yeah once you do that, it's all good. Um, if you do make a claim, then they might oh, ask, God, and please. then I just show yeah. on my phone. And when you say walk around your house, are, what are some framed? Are some in albums? Like what's the deal? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, some of them are in like uh, cases. Some of I've got sets and and boxes and all that. So it's all different things so. <laughs> there's a lot of money wow. in this yeah, yeah yeah the pokemon yes. uh yeah, all the pokemon stuff is just uh yeah carry stupid prices it has oh, for a long time so I, I thought of it as an investment <laughs> yeah, well you yeah. gotta catch them all they say it in pokemon don't they yeah you gotta catch them all say. this is a podcast of nathan nat and sean we are so happy for anything great to happen to anyone around oh, us. If there's one thing you know about us, we just really revel in other people's success. We are cheerleaders <laughs> for other people's happiness. Um, but there are oh, other yeah. people that when they're around someone and something great happens to them, they go, oh. Well, You're a bit resentful a bit, about it's it. It's a bit distasteful, isn't it? Can Didn't you imagine? To me. <laughs> Not us, though. Diane, hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Have you been close to somebody else's massive win? Oh, so close. Um, I had won uh, a couple of tickets to Breast Cancer Care WA lunch. Yes. Um, I had just finished breast cancer treatment myself. Yeah. Um, so I took one of my best girlfriends. We got there. I wrote both of our names down for a door prize. <laughs> and, of course, her name was called out. What did she the win? Stunning gold and aquamarine. Uh, earrings worth oh, oh. about $800. No, die. No, <laughs> die. die. I'll no. be dying. No, no. Very happy for my girlfriend, but hey. No, no, no you're not. not. Sorry, no, not. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 lies. You're not happy for your girlfriend. You wrote down her name. She should have given them to you. And, and plus, she was your you guest. survived. You survived cancer. And, and you got the tickets. Right. It wasn't like she hey, bought her ticket. At and the end of the day, I won. I've survived. So. No, 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 no. 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 Winning is better. <laughs> hey, you know what? Living's better with those earrings. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stitch up, Di. Oh, Di, yeah. Di, was there no offer? Like, oh, you bought yeah, the long I should probably. Give these to you. Give these to you. To you. For you. 
that, <laughs> no, yeah, that okay, conversation. Oh, no, nah, that is so dodged. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Not even give a one. No. Because I come <laughs> in pairs, one. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> like best friends okay. earrings, so you have one each. Uh, Trish, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, uh, Trish. Trish. Have you been close, so close to somebody else's <laughs> so, major so game? Close, so close, too close. My wow. husband and I were travelling around Australia and we are doing a dive course in Queensland and every morning we'd go to this one little news agent on the way to um, South South Beach, I think it's called. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then this particular morning we would always go to the counter and we'd always buy a scratchy. We're like, this is our day. We're going to win it oh, today. Oh, yeah. I love this. And then this, this particular day we went to that news agent, but he's like, I want an orange juice. I'm like, we don't have time for that. We're going to be late. He's going, I want an orange juice. So a man got in front of us in the queue. <laughs> he, he, bought, he bought the same denomination that we always buy. Yeah. $2 or $5. Trish, dollar Trish, yeah, yeah. He won $100,000. A hundred. I was like, Steve and I just looked at each other and I was like, oh, my God. And we, we both had that fleeting moment of, should we follow him out? That is what, our what? Hundred and then grand. we knew we knew we were destined to be together at that point because we both went, oh, no, we can't do that. That's too scratchy. But it's like... Yeah. Oh I do God. like that you both that contemplated was... murder but then just decided know, yeah. against it. As a team. Not to. Yeah. I mean, well done. Yeah. Um, oh, have sorry. you ever had orange juice again after that? Well, not at that news agent's no. no. I was going to say, I'm, gonna say, you I'm against go. glassing people, but I would have I would have smashed that orange juice into your oh, partner's temple. Yes. It was like... And we were so young then, we still yeah. could have done with that money for our holiday. Oh, yeah. oh my God. So good for a holiday. Money. 100K. <laughs> to set you up for like, oh, no, yeah. just for a holiday. <laughs> yeah, that's flattening it. At the moment, we are talking about when something awesome happened, yeah. not to you, to the person right there. You were right there to yeah. witness it, but you got none of the spoils. Hi, Juanita. Hi. Hi, Juanita. Hi, Juanita. Oh, Juanita, is this about Harry Styles? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. okay. All right. All right. With it. How exciting. Uh, so my husband actually works at Crown uh, Security. Yeah. And he came home yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before, and I just made the comment and said, oh, how was your day? He goes, oh, yeah, my day was fine. I just had to escort um, a singer today. I said, oh, <laughs> who was it? He's like, oh, some guy called Harry. <laughs> um, and me and, my, me and my son are just looking and we're like... Um, do you know who Harry is? <laughs> My son's saying to Dad. And he's like, oh, I don't know. He's some singer. He's Dad. Dad, it's Harry Styles. It's yeah. Harry Styles. <laughs> um, and he was just like, because he just doesn't, he, he didn't know who this famous, you know. Yes. And the kids are like, oh, can you get can you get a signature? Can you get a signature, Dad? Like, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he was just like, he's he just obviously sees a lot of, Celebrity yes. singers that come here and whatnot, yeah, yeah. Um, and just doesn't. He just continues doing his job. So he doesn't. doesn't mean he's the perfect anything. person for the yeah, job, in yeah. fact, because he's not yep. going to be starstruck by them because he's got no idea who they are. No, no, no. <laughs> he's going to walk into the car. Exactly. That's all. It's amazing. Exactly. Oh, God, a lot of people are either. jealous of that situation. Yes, a lot of girls are very furious. A lot of girls right now are going into security. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Renita. Annette, hello. Hello. Hi, Annette. Hi, what did you miss out on but the person next to you did quite well? Um, it wasn't me. It was my daughter's boyfriend of the time. Yeah. Um, they went to a Dockers game with his parents. Now, his parents were members, and they gave her the ticket. Mm. Um, as they were walking down to their seats, there were some people at the front, and they kind of looked at them, and they pointed at my daughter and said, you, come here. Yeah. And um, they put her right down the front, and at half time, she had to go out onto the field and kick the ball towards the goal. And whatever destination was going past, you won oh, yeah, two yeah. tickets. Was that yes. with Virgin? Yes. Virgin, I think it was. The yeah, one. yes. Yeah, well, she won Hong Kong. Oh, oh, the entire um, Hong Kong. So the island of Hong Kong. <laughs> she. Yeah, well, yes, yes. She, she won so two long. tickets to Hong Kong. So oh. she's after... there on someone else's ticket, for starters. As, yes. As, and then, and then she gets. She, the lucky seat yep. <laughs> and wins a trip yeah. to Hong Kong. <sighs> yes, and and then to add insult to injury, yeah. he did the dirty about a month before she went, so she took her best friend instead. Oh, oh, brilliant. oh double score. That is a brilliant. double score. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, that's really great. I'm glad that happened for her. Yeah, that's right. Let's go Thanks to Chris and Piara Waters. Hey, Chris. 
Hey, how you doing, guys? Good, love the show. Aww. Always love the show. Oh, <laughs> stop Chris. sucking up to us, Chris. Shut up, hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> we can't handle it. Okay, what happened? Um, so this is about four years ago. So um, I think it's what about a lot of wins and all that. So I've I've got this a lot that I always always had. So my lucky numbers. I thought the lucky lucky five. So I always normally play. Yeah. Um, the 30th of March, 2019, four years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what day was it? What day was it, Chris? Thursday, yeah. Wednesday. 30, 30 of March. Yep. It's my daughter's birthday. So 30th of the third is the birthday. So we decided to go to the Wolford Plaza, and I decided, oh, no worries, it's your birthday, Chloe. So we'll pick tickets. Like we'll we'll pick your lottery tickets. So she goes, yep, no worries. You guys pick the numbers, all the rest of it. So I played that ticket. So. Totally forgot about my my ticket. I thought, oh no, I must play that. Yep, must play that, and still forgot about it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was sitting down at home and checking <laughs> the lottery numbers. So to come up, I looked at her and said, oh, this is you won you won twelve, you won some money. Yep, no drama. <sighs> one hundred twenty some bucks or whatever. Oh. Then I've checked my e ticket yeah. that I was supposed to play. Yeah. Then I've looked at it. Mm. I've gone, crap. Looked at it again. Gone, like crap, crap. What? Then. I didn't actually say crap, said something else. Oh, but no, yeah, then no. I just screamed at the top of the line and said, Oh my God. My wife's going, What the, what the heck's going on? I yeah. said, I've done something stupid. Oh, I've done something stupid. No. She goes, What have you done? Have you like you cheated on me or something? I said, No, no, no. no, <laughs> it's no worse. Much not worse at all. Than that, Chris. <laughs> this is this is absolute this is worse. You and on me I said <laughs> I said, Look at these numbers and she's looking at them. Then she's looking at me and then looking at me and I said, Well, what are the winning numbers here? <gasps> so this is a twenty million dollar jackpot. Yes. yes. So, if I had played an e-ticket, a certain oh, e-ticket, are you joking? Two point two million dollars. Oh, and they and were you your just, numbers. You Chris. just didn't play and you it. Just didn't they, play it. Your numbers I came up, it. and you well, went it on. Four dollars something. Four dollars something. Well, it cost the ticket. Yeah. I was just, you just totally forgot. blase. Forgot you to do it. Idiot. Said you himself, "Got to do it." You should never think yeah. about your daughter over you. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. Oh. That, that's where you're stuffed up. You're worried about Chloe. <laughs> well, I was worried about Chloe, but you know, she said it's okay, Dad. You can have right. I've, I've won some money. You can have some more money. Did it's you okay. take it? You took it. <laughs> right. Took it. No, no. Ah, come sort of on, mate. No, that's that your time. that's that's your win. So. Oh. Yep. Hey, Chris, can I just say, I would just open, open this to the table for discussion. Is that Was that Chris's lotto win? Yes. yes well, Chris you can't use those numbers won. again. They're not going to be Chris, Chris, Chris you've missed out. Your that, numbers that, that are was, ruined. You, you were never be- happen again. You yeah, were meant to win lotto and now you won't. No, that's it. But Ever. to this day, I say, you know, everyone says, well, think about it. Because this is, this is before COVID. Think mm. about it. So okay. I'm thinking, where would I be? You were $2 million. I'd oh, be on a ship, you know, doing the cruise, <laughs> all the rest of it. And I'm sitting there going, maybe that's my lucky win. No, that you didn't go on a cruise. cruise. <laughs> that you didn't oh, go yeah. on a cruise. Yeah, that's it. I'm sure that would make me sleep easier. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. You might think we live great lives, but we are being victimised downtrodden by our bosses. Um, there is a company-wide policy that says if you do not um, wish to celebrate Australia Day on uh uh, January 26th, you don't have to. You can work that day and take a, a, a day off in lieu at any time between yep. now and the yep. end of March. Woolworths, Telstra, Channel 10, um, so many more um, uh, companies as well have yep. now taken this on board as well. Turns out, though, that we <laughs> can't do that. Uh, when we suggested we might want to to our boss, he just he literally laughed at us, like yeah. just giggled. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we want to know if everyone is allowed to do it except for you. This is Group Therapy. Sue, hello. Hello, Sue. Hi, how are you going? Good, Good Sue. Hello. Hey. What's I, the story? Um, I do fly-in, fly-out work, and we've just been told our project dates of flying in and flying out are changing. So we actually have to fly out on our, the first day of our roster day off. Mm. Everyone else in the team is getting paid for it. I don't. I was told it's part of my salary. So oh, wait there, hey, but you're <laughs> the only one that that applies to. Yep, because I'm the white collar worker, being the health and safety rep, and everyone else are uh, like operators of of machinery. Oh, machinery and yeah. So they're, yeah, so they're blue collar workers, so they'll get paid an uplift for the half day and the extra night on site. I don't get paid it. <laughs> What so, are, are you seen as um, an employee and they're seen as contractors? Is that how it's viewed? No, no, we're all employees. We're all on salaries, but apparently blue collar workers get paid it, and I don't. <laughs> Can't you just swap your collar? Do they? <laughs> do they stop hey, you from eating I'm, at the I'm, mess on the night before as well? <laughs> 
I'm happy to change the colour of my shirt if it means I'll get paid. Oh. I know, but you'd have, to, you'd have to step out of the air con during the day, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you're being Ripped stitched up, off. Sue. Could we feel your pain. there or not. Thank you. Laura, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, Great, Laura. Laura. What's everyone else allowed to do except for you? Stay home. So my husband and myself, we both have to go to work on public holidays, but we don't get paid any extra to do so. And we both obviously send our children to daycare, but there's no daycare, but we still have to pay yeah. for the daycare day. Yeah, the daycare thing, it really um, drives me insane. Me because too. That's just absolutely Can I just say... Because it's not costing them anything no, to have the daycare closed that day. <laughs> no. I'm just really waiting for there to be a disruptor in the daycare yeah. um, sector who will come in and look at things fairly and go, OK, we're not going to run with this because everyone else does. Yeah. I think that people would f- would would line up I know. to be part of that. To not pay on a public holiday when the kids don't anyway. go. You know? I know, it's crazy. Yeah. So, it? so can you tell us about the why you have to work public holidays and you don't get a Guernsey with that one? Uh, we both work in aviation, so public holidays don't exist. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. People like, fly all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now, you do, do you not even get like double time or anything on the public holiday? No, it's just um, you, you will work and it's in your salary. You don't get any extra days off That's... or any double time. And aviation is in like, um, you know, one of the big air carriers? Yeah, my husband's a pilot and I'm a flight attendant. Okay. Do you oh, ma- yeah, okay, okay. Can you, on those days, do you just hate everybody that's going off on holidays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit unfair. <laughs> Laura, it's a funny world. Like um, in the sporting world, it's the same. And I remember yes. speaking to um, guys who have left Fremantle in recent times in white collar positions, yes. and I said, "You won't, l- you won't know yourself. You have a public yeah. holiday." Yeah, that's right. Hey, Laura, I want to ask your opinion quickly. This is something completely different. I was reading an article last night um, that this woman um, was, you know, like uh, so excited that she was um, flying, and you know, for her it was a big deal, premium economy, yes. um, to go on her honeymoon. She said the one thing that ruined it because you know, like um, she was acting like she was in. In first, first class. class, and I think that was just gorgeous. She said the one thing that ruined it was the woman that was across the aisle from her took her shoes off and her feet stunk, oh, and I they just that. reeked the entire <laughs> entire day. As a flight attendant, what do you what do you do in that scenario? Can you go and tell someone that their feet stinking to pop their shoes back on, or do you or can you not step in? Oh, I don't know. It's so awkward. How do you tell someone they smell? But they should not, because they should well, know they feet, smell. If your feet stink. I don't think it should be common sense. People should know what's acceptable and what's not. Like, yes. you're still, like, you wouldn't take your shoes off at the shops. I know, but oh, so you say that, but they but do people it. do, yeah. yeah. So, so, or, like, at the, people do it at the movies. Like, yeah. I think some people just don't have... Common courtesy when it comes okay. to being in a small confined. All right, so Laura, so I'm on that one. flight, right? So I have pressed my buzz up, but bell, and so has Nat. She's on another seat, and so is mm. Sean. Three of us have said to you, "Excuse me, um, that woman's taken her shoes off and her feet stink. What's the next move for you?" Oh, I'd bump it. Go to the cabin manager. They can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm on top. Right. Right. Yeah. I like your attitude. Someone else can deal with yeah. it. I love it's that. a public holiday. I don't yeah. get paid enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go I'm up the chain. It. We are talking about when it feels like you've been singled out. Mm. Everybody else gets something and you don't. Hi, Erin. Hi. Hi, Erin. How are you? Yeah, we're wonderful. Great, Erin. Um, are you the downtrodden one? We're yes, downtrodden too, so we'll it. really connect. <laughs> <laughs> so my friends and I, this was when we were travelling Europe way back in the day. Um, we were in um, Budapest and yep. we thought we'd try the Turkish bars. Yes. Um, so we were in there. We did the massage bit, which was traumatic enough. Yeah. And so when they hit you like, go, with branches and stuff? Yeah, well, they're, they're big. Big ladies. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My son did it only a couple of weeks ago, Erin. Hefty lasses oh is what you say. Hefty lasses, yep. It was, yeah, it was, they weren't, they weren't gentle, that's no. for sure. Yeah. Um, but then we went to go into the bath section, so the pool. So we went to our change room to get our bathing suits on and this large woman kept stopping us as we were coming out, telling us to take our swimsuits off. Mm. Yes. And we were like, no, no, we're just going into the pool. And she's like, she's like literally flicking like the, my friend's two piece. And she's like, this, this, off. <laughs> and we were like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, we're just going into the pool. And there's people walking past us. With bathers on. In bathers. Yes. <laughs> and she made us, there was a group of us, and she made all of us. So we're literally walking out with these little flannel things. You're naked. You had a flannel on your flannel. She forced you guys to go nude. <laughs> We're like sliding up the wall. 
So why in the pool? And we get to the pool and most of the people are in bathing. So, so why? So why? what was the deal? Well, you're, they, you're a Westerner, so they... Yeah, you need to I be don't annoyed. know. There was... There were some that were clearly regulars, and they just didn't care. Like the Euro- a lot of Europeans, they don't care. They don't. They don't eyelid at it. So but, gonna, are you telling me that all it takes to get you naked is one hefty Turkish woman, <laughs> <laughs> and you relinquish all of your rights? She was big. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Yeah, you want to argue with her, Nathan? This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. We heard the question that a Pakistani electoral engineering uh, professor asked of his students during an exam. It had nothing to do with electrical engineering, so no, I have to say. Yeah. More to do with what a brother and sister had got up to on holiday. Which they shouldn't have. <laughs> Which they shouldn't but have. But each to their own. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, well, we don't know what the right answer was. We do not know what the right answer was. Uh, weird questions. That's what we're talking about right now. Trace is in Forestfield. Hey, Trace. Morning, guys. How are you? Good, Good Tracy. Tracy. Trace, what, what did somebody ask you? Okay, so I took Dad to uh, Bingo at Cannington yeah. and we were just chatting, you know, you chat to the people around you and just chatting, waiting for the game to start. And this lady turned around and she goes, did you just call him Dad? And I said, yeah, that's my dad. And she said, oh, I thought you guys were on a first date coming to Bingo. <laughs> Mm. Oh my God! Oh, you know what? That, that, that just makes you question everything, doesn't I mean, it, Tracy? It's probably flattering for it, your dad, but it's not great for you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm like, have I aged a lot, or is he just a young-looking seventy-year-old? Can I be honest? Yes. Can you be honest with me right now? All right, no one else <laughs> yep, is listening. Honest. Would you go for your dad? <laughs> <laughs> if you get like, the answer like, this like, right, you know what we I mean? will like, give like, you say, an electrical say, like, you had no other option. Oh, you know, like, could you go for your dad? Can you see a world? Sure. Yes. Sure. <laughs> He's a Tracy, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> Tracy, Do not call Tracy, Tracy, you, Tracy you have just been offered a scholarship at the uh, Electrical Engineering Student um, Association <laughs> at um, Bashar and Comets University. Fantastic. Well, I'm tra- I, Trace, um, to think somebody gets taken to a first date on at, to a, at, at bingo, the bingo that's hall. a whole other matter. <laughs> Maybe when you're 70, it is a hot first date. You know. Uh, by by the way, the those bingo halls are so much fun. Have you not been, Sean? Have I not been? To a bingo hall. There's too many numbers. Sean. I, it's so much fun. <laughs> and also, um, the canteen, uh, the one that used to be open on Guildford Road, the yeah, canteen that is... Closed down. Yeah, the canteen was uh, stocked from um, old lady cooking. Um, well, I like and, old lady slices. cooking. And they're all using 1950s prices. They're not making any profit. <laughs> oh, my God, it was just so delicious. Thanks, Tracy. Kim's in Meadow Springs. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good, Kim. Right now, did somebody ask you a weird question? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, Lots of weird questions in my time, but when I was in my 20s, I travelled from one side of America to the other on a bus, and it took about three days. So I got to sit next to quite a few people. And one lady there, I'd been talking away for about an hour, and she just looked at me and went, well, what language do you speak in Australia? Oh. And I'm like, oh. you, and you'd been speaking got, to her. I've been talking to her for an hour, <laughs> and it's like you've got to be kidding me. Um, the following day, when I got on another bus, um, I'd been talking away to this lady because you know the bus was full. And after having a conversation with her about you know Australia and you know what's going on, where I was going, she turned to me and she said. Well, whereabouts is Australia in Nebraska? <laughs> Where is Australia Where before? In, in Nebraska. Ne- in, ne- in Nebraska. In Nebraska. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. I, I, just, I, I was yes. just in a state of shock. I can't some people, where we are. some, yeah. so not all. So there are some pockets of America yes. that have no clue about us. Oh yeah, no, definitely in that heartland through the through the Midwest, it is. They don't get a clue. Yeah, don't that, because know they don't get a lot of they leave. Don't, they don't go on it. holidays. They don't yep. travel. So yep. they they have no. That's why there's no other when world. When an Australian's on TV, they have subtitles yeah. on it. Yeah, and it's like, are you serious? Mm. Yeah. The answer is yes. We are talking about the weird questions that you've been asked. And it might have been weird because it just seemed inappropriate for the 
situation yep. or because the content of the question was weird. Yeah. Or it could be on dates, it could be job interviews, mm. it could be a stranger in the street or perhaps on a form. <laughs> used to be over when the players did the AFL uh, combine stuff, they had to meet with coaches and Mark Williams, who coached Port Adelaide, yes. used to just come out of left field with weird questions oh, but it was to because, shock. The... Because they were so well prepped. Yeah. In that, yeah, yeah. So it was a way of just sort of getting under their skin and seeing yeah. how they handle uh, being put off kilter a bit. So everyone knew when they went in there, they didn't know what the question could, was going to be. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> but it's coming from left, way so left you field. you sleep with your sister? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to Christy. Hi, Christy. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, Christy. Mate. What was the weird question, That's Christy? Good. Okay, so I was at a bus stop and I had these pretty little sandals on and I was in my 20s and a guy looks like he's about his late 40s, maybe 50s. And he turned to me in, like, absolute shock and he said to me, oh, my God, what happened to your feet? That looks really painful. What? And I looked down at my feet and he was like, your toes, like, what's happened to your toes? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, they're just my toes, like, yeah. just just chilling. Yeah. And he was like, oh. So, yeah, he was, like, really concerned at the state of my feet. But and what was... What? Because he had open shoes that he hadn't seen. Well, I had open That's... shoes, yeah, and he just thought that my toes looked like there was something... Significantly wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> either, either he's a very caring podiatrist trying to get more uh, business, or like, yeah. he's a foot fetishist because he's paying too much attention to his toes. Oh uh, no, he doesn't. He did, I don't think he liked what he was saying. Christy, what did you do? Did you go home and question everything? Well, I, well, yeah. I like I, I, I instantly touched my feet. Like you know how you sort of cross your legs and them away. Back. Yes. And then on the when I finally got onto the bus, I'm like. Sort of looking at my feet from all angles. I could possibly look at my feet. Trying to see what he can see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then I really um, don't really like to wear open toe shoes. Oh, <laughs> it's changed a uh, lot. She keeps yeah, trying to make socks in summer happen and just won't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and now you he got inside your head. Why, why don't you send us a photo of your feet and then oh, we'll see. Now you sound a bit and, creepy. And we'll, we'll say if there's anything wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah, well, you are. If you, <laughs> want, if you want an independent opinion, because maybe there's nothing really wrong with them, but you just when you look at them, the overall feeling is nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Sarah, hello. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. What was the weird question? Um, so I've had two kids now, and when you're about 25-ish weeks, you do your referral for the hospital you're going to give birth at, and you sit down with the midwife, and she asks you a bunch of, like, health related questions mm. about family history and everything. Yeah. And for legal reasons, they actually have to ask you if you and the father of your child are biologically related in any way, like your siblings <laughs> or cousins or anything. So that when your kid comes out with webbed feet, they know why? Is that the... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so that's the question. I would have gone through that. I know. They doubt. need to, you know, I, yeah. really, I really hope they do preface by saying we legally have to ask this question, because they're just asking... Ask it out yes. of the blue. That's something you're going to get your partner yeah, they do. They give you a pretty good heads up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But That's it is sort of worth the risk to get a web, webbed feet kid. Good swimmers. Chuck them in the pool. <laughs> chuck them in the pool. Do you know for sure that they're going to come out with no, webbed feet? No. No, you don't. You it don't. could come out like could you're be rolling the gills dice. or it's <laughs> even non fishy I mean, things. Gills would be good. <laughs> gills would be great. <laughs> like a tail. A tail, which is great. You know, if it's prehensile, that can grab things. Oh, okay. Right. Just an extra set of hands around the house. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Kids all happy wagging at you. Thank you, Sarah. Nathan, Matt, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.